Extremely difficult itu kenyataan Tony Abbott yang uh, antara lainnya menyifatkan ketika mana operasi sama ada mengesahkan untuk uh, meneliti objek tersebut mengenai MH370 ataupun tidak. Uh, di mana sebelum ini kita umum mengetahui operasi pencarian di kawasan koridor selatan yang dikepalai oleh Australia melibatkan 19 juta kilometer persegi. Kemudian operasi pencarian itu dikecilkan kepada 600 ribu kilometer persegi. Dan hari ini perkembangannya mengenai imej satelit dan P3C Orion dalam perjalanan menuju ke lokasi yang telah pun dikenal pasti di mana kita tahu di kawasan koridor selatan juga melibatkan uh, Australia dan juga New Zealand yang mempunyai pesawat P3C Orion serta uh, TLDM dan TUDM kita telah pun mengerah aset di kawasan berkenaan sepanjang operasi mencari dan menyelamat di kawasan koridor selatan berkenaan dan seterusnya kita ikuti sidang akhbar penuh rakaman awal mengenai sidang akhbar oleh jurucakap Australia Maritime Safety Authority ataupun AMSA iaitu pihak berkuasa Maritime Australia kita saksikan sidang akhbar penuh tersebut. Um there's another one that's uh, smaller than that and and a number of other um uh, images um in the general area uh, of of the biggest one. You said that an aircraft arrived at about 1:50 that's almost 2 hours ago now. Have you had any report that? Uh, the aircraft has reported on the weather on scene. Um, that's where I get the information that there is poor visibility in the area. Um, and perhaps the Commodore McGarry could talk about the implications of that separately. Is that aircraft on scene? Is that relocated the, the piece of wreckage that was spotted on the satellite? No, there been no sightings yet. What will the merchant ship do? Was that if, if it does uh, find the objects, or if it gets to the scene and the objects are there, will it pick them up? Uh, the most likely scenario is that an aircraft will find an object if if it is findable um and then um report back a, a an accurate gps position um and amso would task the ship to proceed to the area and attempt to see it that would be our first chance to get a close up look at whatever the objects might be um and progressively advance the identification of whether they are associated with the search or not Uh, we were provided it um, from uh, the Australian AGO this morning, um, but I might ask Air Commodore McGarry to speak about the uh, about the imagery. So the imagery is being progressively captured uh, by satellites passing over various areas. Uh, the task of analysing imagery is quite difficult. It requires drawing down frames and going through frame by frame. Uh, the moment that this imagery w- was discovered to uh, reveal a possible object that might indicate a debris field, we have passed the information from Defence across to AMSA for their action. AGO are the, the nation's foremost experts on this kind of stuff. Is it fair to say that if they've had a look at it and believe that it is, it is credibly uh, debris in the plane that? Um, that we can sort of draw conclusions from that that's a fair chance that it is? Uh, look, quite simply, it is credible enough to divert the research to this area on the basis it provides a promising lead to what might be wreckage from the debris field. Um, John, if you want to elaborate any further on that. But... The only elaboration I would make on that is we have been in this business of doing search and rescue and using satellite images before and they do not always turn out to be uh, related to the search even if they look good so we will hold our views on that until they're sighted close up what kind of satellite was it that spotted the debris in the first place and blue, blue satellite? Um, i'm unable to advise on that i'm sorry i simply do not know you mentioned further satellite imagery when do you expect to return back Uh, well, AGA will continue to provide all possible support to this operation. Uh, the ability to retask assets, uh, commercial and other, others, to enable us to focus in on an area to support this search will become a priority. But I'm unable to give you any advice on when additional imagery or whether that additional imagery might even um, hold any further clues. Mr Young, you said the other day that the, the water here was very deep. Do you have a more specific idea of just how deep the water is and, and what would be the nature of the sea floor? Uh, I apologise. I remember taking that question, but I didn't check it any, any further. I understand it would be several thousand metres deep. Um, and um, uh, I'm speculating an abyssal plain floor, but I will check it and I will get the information back to you this time. That would be a run for... 
Uh, we'll check it and I'll yeah. get the information back to you this time. 2,200 kilometres from Pierce. How many are, are flying hours is that to actually reach that destination? So that area is now four hours, approximately four hours flying time for the P3 and it enables us to spend approximately two hours or a little bit more perhaps on station once we get into the search area. So how long can they, how much fuel have they got to stay over that area? Well it's two hours of endurance once we're on station so it's two hours of search time that we can devote. I can't give you a yeah, you know, how many pounds or gallons of fuel that might equate to. Mr Young, uh, what, would you, uh, what would your advice be to the families who have been waiting for 12 days for news of, 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 of this country? Uh, I, I would advise that AMSA is doing its level best to find anyone that may have survived. If, if indeed the aircraft came into the Southern Corridor and if indeed these uh, objects sighted by satellite are associated with the aircraft, that will put us into a more accurate search area than the one we have at the moment. Mr. Young, the other day you said that you described this operation as trying to find a needle in a haystack. Are you, is it surprising that you've possibly detected, you've detected these objects so soon uh, in the search? I don't want to draw too many conclusions from this. We have two separate forms of analysis here. You might recall on the, on the slide here the two yellow arrows pointing to analysis done by the United States National Transportation Safety Board about the movements of the aircraft. That has focused searching and we have now seen satellite imagery of two objects or a number of objects there. Um, I don't want to draw too much from that. This is a lead. It is probably the best lead we have right now, but we need to get there, find them, see them, assess them to know whether it's really meaningful or not. And of caution again, they'll be difficult to find. Um, they may not be located, uh, associated with the, the aircraft, and we have plenty of experience of that in other searches. Has this sparked a flood of further assistance offers to Australia now that this information has been made? Um, Defence, we have had offers potentially from other countries to, for military assets. Uh, the distance to the search area lends itself to certain types of aircraft that have long range and marine search radar capabilities. It is a long way off the Australian mainland. Um, and we are working through defence channels to um, facilitate the provision of that assistance if those other nations um, are able to support. But you haven't taken on any uh, We continue to work with those nations to see how they can assist. So the Chinese office formally? Uh, we are aware of the Chinese um, taking an interest in searching in the southern area, but we continue to work with nations to facilitate their in integration into the current search. Just to, be, just to be clear, you're sorry. Can I add to that that uh, we provide regular briefings for the countries that are involved in, uh, in, in this search, um, including in the Rescue Coordination Centre, um, uh, where uh, attaches come in on a daily basis so that we can keep that um, keep them informed about what's going on. And just to be clear, all of your resources are now devoted to this specific area. You're not, you're not continuing to search any other area. Uh, you're, you're correct. This this is um, close enough to the, the National Transportation Safety Board's assessed area um, to be um, a, a possible sighting. Um, and we want to find them, and we want to work out what they are from seeing them. That's it. that's our priority at the moment. Generally, how, in, in terms of this area of ocean, which is fairly pristine, how often would one expect to find a, a large piece of debris like this floating? Is it, is it a common occurrence, or is it something like with perhaps aircraft crews, would they see large pieces of debris like this floating as a consequence of storms and things, or is this quite unusually large? Our experience is that there is debris um, out there. Uh, on this particular occasion, uh, the size and the fact that there are a number located in the, in the same, same area um, really makes it worth looking at. But I, I don't want to speculate about what, what they are until we get there and we see them. Sorry, can you tell us a little more about how many pieces have been seen? Is it just two? And, and the dimensions of the other pieces? Uh, no, I can't tell any more about that at the moment. When you said 20, sorry, when you said 25, 24 metres earlier in the press conference, uh, you mean lengthwise? Is it a long? What sort of object? Uh, the, the, the image on the, on the satellite image has a sort of blob uh, with an assessment of 24 metres 
against it, which is the assessment that's been made by the expert uh, that assessed it. Is there any oil in the ocean around it or anything like that? Uh, you can't tell that from the satellite imagery. Sorry, did you have a question? When do you think you can bring that thing, that object, back to um, kind of here's there are many steps to happen before we get to that point. We have to locate it, confirm that it, it belongs to the aircraft, recover it, and then bring it a long, a long way back to, to Australia. So that, that would take some time. What we're looking for is a confirmation that it does belong to the aircraft or it does not and and we'll consider what follows from that. Is there anything that suggests it is at least part of an aircraft? Are there windows that you can see that are there, um, markings or anything? Any, any bits and pieces that suggest it's actually from the aircraft? The imagery is not that that precise. Can you Last question. A clear image picture of that object? Uh, no, we're working to provide imagery for you. Um, I don't have it with me right at the moment, but we are working to provide imagery that can release for media purposes at the earliest opportunity. When will the new further information be released today? Sorry? When will the new further information be released today? Ah, sorry, I um, information will be released in media statements as usual. I suggest you talk with uh, the uh, AMSA's media people after the, uh, after the uh, conference. When do you realistically expect to have, um, have some more information based on the assets that you have out there at the moment? It's in the nature of search and rescue operations that I cannot ask, answer that for you. We have four aircraft out there this afternoon. The, the weather is not playing the game with us. Um, we may get a sighting, we may not. We may get it tomorrow, we may not. But we will continue to do this until we locate those objects or we're convinced that we cannot find them. Thank you very much, everyone. Sorry, are you having to give us an idea when you might get it? Okay, you've been listening.